one, Chris wants to know the principal parts of the verb. Ano yung itsura ng verb sa sentence? So, first, Chris, meron tayong present tense. Ang itsura niyan kapag ganito, Susan and Sarah eat breakfast early. Since itong Susan at Sarah ay plural, kaya ang ating verb na eat ay nakabase o simple form lang at walang S. Kasi iyan ay plural itong ating subject kaya dapat ang verb ay plural din. So yan ang tawag diyan ay present. Ngayon ang nangyayari, present. Base or simple form of the verb does not have s, es or ies after it. Yan ay base form of the verb, present. Halimbawa din ay July lives in the in the big city. Since ang ating July ay singular, kasi isa lang siya, isa lang yung pinag-uusapan natin, kaya ang ating verb sa present tense ay merong S. Laging ganon, plus S or ES after it if the subject is singular. Kaya July lives in the city. Kapag naman plural, ganito ang mangyayari. Wait lang, singular muna. Shira studies at the universities. At, yun, at the university, kapag ito, irregular ang tawag dito kasi uh, why talaga ang ano nyan, ang last na titik, change y to i plus add es para maging singular ang ating verb. Ito ay regular, ito ay, sing, ito ay irregular verb. Kapag yan ay gagawing present, dapat ay nakasingular dahil ang ating subject ay singular. Okay? Meron din tayong past. Ang past ay nangyari kahapon o basta nangyari nung nakaraang mga ano araw o panahon. Halimbawa ay Sharon danced with her father. Regular verb 'yan. Ay merong d sa huli kapag regular ang ating verb past. Past tense ng ating verb laging may d. Pag naman, irregular verb, laging nag-iiba ang spelling. Ito, mula sa sa verb na drive, nagiging drove ang past tense. Buboy drove the van carefully. Laging ang ating past ay pwedeng irregular o regular verb. Kapag irregular verb, nag-iiba yung spelling. At hindi dinadagdagan ng E o E di sa huli. Samantalang ang regular verb natin sa past ay nagkakaroon ng D or E di kapag regular yung verb. Yung iba naman na verbs ay hindi nababago yung spelling kahit na naka past tense. Ito, the balloon burst yesterday. Burst yan, yan ang basic form. Yan din ang past tense past form ng verb. Ito, present participle, lagi yung merong ing sa huli. Ito, limbawa, read, naging reading. Plus, lagi yung may kasamang helping verb o auxiliary verb, minsan ay itong be verb. Be verbs are used before it. I am reading the newspaper. Kaya kapag gagawa ka ng sentence, kung gusto mo ay may kasamang participle, ay na gusto mo na, na may participle, kailangan niyang may partner na helping verb o be verbs. Yan yung mayroong may mga um, is, was, where, ganun. Tapos, ang um, present participle natin ay laging may ing. Ito pa. Marlene has been sleeping for 9 hours straight. Pwede rin na uh, have verbs ang gamitin sa pag gawa ng Verb phrase na merong present participle na verb, yan, sleeping, has been. Sleeping for 9 hours straight. Have verbs can be added to been, to been, be, to form has, or have, or had, plus been, plus present participle. So, pag gagawa ka ng sentence at ang gusto mo ay merong present participle, yung verb na may ing, Minsan, sasamahan mo ng be verb o kaya naman have verbs. Meron din tayong past participle. Apat yun. Present, past, tapos ay 
present participle at past participle. Ang ating past participle, laging ganito. Pwedeng be verbs ang kasama ng main verb o kaya naman have verbs ang kasama ng ng base form ng verb. Katulad nito, Larry has worked in the army. Itong work na to ay regular verb na merong have verbs bilang pantulong para makabuo tayo ng ng verb phrase na merong past participle na verb. Itong work na ay regular, kaya may ED. Laging may ED ang past participle ng regular verb. Kapag naman irregular verb, laging, nagpa, laging ano, change in spelling yung ating main verb. Kaya yung it na yan naging eaten. Kasi, kailangan kapag may have verbs, ang laging katambal niyan ay participle pwedeng past partici participle. Ito naman, Miko has read the magazine. Itong read na to, ang basa dyan ay read, hindi na read. Pag read na yan, laging ang kasama niyan ay have verbs. Yan ang ating verb phrase at ito ang ating past participle, read. May mga spelling kasi na yun na din yung present tense, yun pa rin ang past, yun pa rin ang past tense o kaya ang past participle. Ito naman, the bell was sprung twice already. Pwede rin na be verb itong was ang gagamitin kapag gusto natin gumawa ng sentence na mayroong past participle. The bell was rung twice already. Passive. Passive voice siya. Be verb itong was. O kaya pwedeng uh, have. Pwedeng have din ang gamitin. Ito halimbawa. Sagutan natin to. Ano yung tura ng present participle ng help? Ito. Lagi lang yan may is. Is, tsaka may ing yung main verb, is helping. Pag past tense naman, pag regular, dagdagan lang natin ng e o kaya ed. Ganun din sa past participle, pero may kasama na yun na ito, has. Has o kaya have o kaya had. Had helped. Kapag cook naman, ang present participle niyan ay is cooking. Past tense, cooked. Since yan ay, regul yan ay regular verb, ed lang yung idadagdag. Past participle has cooked. Itong clean. Cle is cleaning. Naging cleaned. Ito has cleaned. Farm is farming. Farmed has farmed. Ito pitch is pitching. Uh, pitched has pitched. Itong ask is asking. Um, asked may ed. Since yan ay regular din, tsaka has asked. Pwede ding, ano, was asked. Itong look ay is looking. Itong skip is skipping. Ito, is hitching, is electing. Yan ang ating present participle. Ganyan ang itsura. Is alluding. Lalagyan lang ng ing, tsaka is sa huli. Ito, is wasting, is affecting, is affecting, is tripping, is accepting, is petitioning. Ang past tense niyan ay lalagyan lang ng ed. Ito, looked, skipped, hitched, elected, alluded, wasted, affected, tripped, accepted, petitioned. Lalagyan lang ng ed. Kasi yan naman ay regular verbs. Pag naging past participle naman niya, lagyan lang natin na has o kaya was sa unahan. Tapos, yung, ano, yung main verb, lagyan din natin ng EOED kapag regular verb. Halimbawa ay itong pitch, has pitched, itong ask, has asked, o kaya was asked. Ito, has looked, has skipped, has hitched, has hitched. Has elected, has alluded, has wasted, has affected, has stripped, has accepted, has petitioned. So, ganun lang paggagawa ng, ng past participle, ng past tense, present participle, tsaka, yan. Yan ang ating verb form. Ito ay ating present. Yan ang apat na verb forms.
Okay? Ganyan lang. Pag gagamit tayo ng ganyan sa sentence, lagi nating tatandaan na yung iba niyan may kasamang helping verb o auxiliary verb katulad ng be verbs o kaya have verbs. Okay? Thank you.